Yeah, man. Like, if you're gonna have a chair, at least like either make it a beanbag chair or make it have wheels. Yeah, it's like you. Yeah, it's like you're trying to race and then you just flat out fall on the ground. Every everyone at the arcade just looks at you. <laughs> like, oh my god, dude. Like, even for spinning, this sucks, dude. <laughs> even for spinning. So ratchet. But alright, looks like we have losers quarters. Uh, Poke and Yo have been sent early. Uh, Poke got eliminated by... Eliminated from the winner's side by Philly Cheese. A very good win for King Ace. And then Yo got eliminated by Black Moon. So right now, this is losers quarters. One of the sides. The other side is uh, Philly Cheese and Raycom for top 5. And this is a best of five here. We got Pug and Young, Sheik vs. Luigi. The last time these guys played was literally at the weekend, uh, weekly. These guys played twice. Pokemon, both of them, very close and solidly. Right now, both of these guys going right back and forth. Nice grab into the Karate Chop. Tried to get a reset with the Fireball. Good bait on the Air Dodge. Ooh, tried to end his life early on that spot with the Bouncing Fish, but good Cyclone interruption. Cyclone does have a lot of very good priority. For Luigi, which is different from the ca the past counterparts of Smash, so. Luigi gonna thing. Oh, grabs the ledge twice, but Yo does an early up B. Tries to read him just normal get up onto the ledge. Ooh, nice. Into the up air. Poke tries to interfere with an uh, karate chop, but. The foot does have a lot of very good disjoint, and I'm joined by EMG Blitz. Ooh, very nice prostate poke by Poke himself. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Right back to the match. Yo, attacking out 3 4. Weaving out. That was a blank moment. Yeah, I don't know, like, I feel like Yo should be like, with Freddy Reed. He's playing neutral ball. I mean, it does work. Uh, even the top players. Both have pretty much. Even the last time these guys played, they have maxed out. Like, Puff has jumped out. Pretty much every single time. Yo, we'll have to try a different condition, but, oh, that prostate poke around the ledge. And Puff says that if you stay on there too long, or you have, like, a lot of damage, I think it's easy. Either 100 plus or 50 plus, you get, uh, less than. Ability. Really? Yeah. That makes sense, cause like, I don't know, I feel like I've been hit off the ledge like, too early, really right? awkwardly, it's like, there's no way I should have like, one to Right now, we're going into game two, right back to Smash World, po definitely gonna stick with his main, Luigi, he doesn't really have anyone else. Yeah, I feel like this is a pseudo FD, where the needles are pretty powerful, uh, I mean, if he gets on the platform, he's just above shooting, that's kind of what he wants. Nice. Bread and butter. Okay, that's my base. Nice. Wait, can I try to miss fire? Drop down there. Drop down there. Yeah, I tried to chain with the base. I didn't know that. Last time, I have to... What's it? Could get hit by the coin and move the priority. The coin does have a little bit of damage. But the last time, Joe got hit by the coin, he actually actually really early on. Uh, but for the last time, Joe got hit by the coin, he actually actually really early on. Buffered and air dodge after that. Yeah, but there's no chance that you'll take it because you know, if you need to get to the strong hit again, for sure you're gonna go. It sends straight up, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna die, it's just gonna away. Very nice upbeat, catching some poke out of his own spot there. Yeah, he doesn't have to maintain his lead, I and mean, he was really doing that at all. Yeah, he's got a very good match, so he's got half the line. That's a very good Les Trump. Ooh, poke sees the roll, but Yo runs away right after the roll. Very good stuff. Right now we got the down throw to back air, one the Luigi's bread and butter. Uh, Very good needle, and he conditioned Poke to shield after the second time he threw out that needle. Like, he knew Poke was gonna shield, and then he's gonna go right to the grab and get his uh, bread and butter back. Really good conditioning by Yo. Ooh, Poke expecting a roll there, but Yo's bench, but that's another thing he's known for back in the vlog is that uh, 
He has those clutch spot dodges. They're not good about yet. Pretty much replaces it with rolls. Ooh, he's gonna not make that back. Yeah, but even then it worked out. Right now it's 1 1. Let me update these scores here. And this is a uh, best of five, so. Yeah. This is quarters. And the other side of quarters is, I'm assuming, Raycom. Uh, Raycom and Fuji. So. Here's to see how that's going. Um, honestly, like what we saw at the Arcadian with uh, Raycom and his brother, that looked like a very unwinnable matchup. So, yeah. hopefully. Oh, um, it was apparently already finished. Oh, 2 1. Wait, 2 1. Really? 2 1. I thought it was just a call. Still has to go, so like, you're plugging the... Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, Delfino. Poke definitely fares the stage, and he can get the uh, early kills on certain transformations. Yeah. However, uh, she can also get the uh, forward air across the stage if he does it correctly on the walk-off transitions as well. It's uh, quite periphery though, so... He's got some advantages. Oh. Yeah. Still very early too. He's almost zero to death. That like. Yeah. Pretty much whenever the counter becomes, who's able to utilize it the best. Both these guys at even percent. But as I say that, Poke gets a nice grab with down throw, up air into back air. Uh, Ooh, and the assist by the Delfino Plaza. Yeah. Good bait on the air dodge. Nice, like, really. That was actually good pressure and good, uh, yeah, realizing that, uh, the stage was coming up. And this is a little ceiling here, so... Poke does get that grab, he could try to go for a down throw, uh, side throw. I know he doesn't opt for it against, uh, fast followers like Sheik, because it's easier for him to get out of it. He'll usually contemplate the neck. Ooh! He's yo reaching, and he's gonna get that nice back air. <laughs> two for two. Right back to even. I feel like these players, even in Brawl, they are pretty much the perfect level that transferred over. Still gonna retreat, kinda regroup with the rules. Yeah, definitely the defensive play style right now. Like it should favor Yo, but instead of the Ooh, Wow. That was really smart. Yeah, that was a really good mix-up. I did not expect Yo to get that. Uh, Oh, the bait, but Fortune does not capitalize. Wow, that was really the flex space. I get grabbed there. Oh! Wow, barely. I'm surprised that's not so good. Nice, he sees the cyclone. He's gonna go for the pop. Uh, Optimal punish. Because he's definitely in a very dangerous situation right now. Fortune was a cyclone. If you don't use it too often, it is a real trick. Especially if on landing, it's a very low air loop. But when he gets landed, like, you've watched the lag so far. It's like a million right now. Right now, anyone's game, I feel if Poke gets his one grab, he's gonna try to convert off of it. For the fact that he doesn't even at all, because even though Yo's got the tools in neutral, that one grab is going to pop. He still has a cyclone as well. Nice back air. Oh, he did have his jump. Very very smart by Poke. Oh, he tried to cyclone and that's going to be the spot. And yo. Switching the game into his favor now. The whole game. Let's see what Post can counter here. At the very least, I'm, uh, I'm almost 100% of the seat. Survival! I'm oh, sorry, uh, not for. Not for. 
joking. Probably Town and City Halberd. Town City Halberd, yeah. This does go to game 5, we're almost like I can see Duck Hunt for Yoke. Yeah, the bushes I help out. Uh, I figured Pope would probably ban that along with ABMP. Yeah. I think Jerk is good at dropping lightning. He makes Meta Knight look good. Probably. It'll be interesting seeing what happens. Did you know how to play Kong and Oh, you're going back to it? Okay. I don't think this bracket has been updated for a while. Oh so. uh, no, I just need to be refreshed. He doesn't know the matchup, he doesn't know the matchup. Three, yeah, three based, uh, he gets, he gets get destroyed, but in time long. If he doesn't know the matchup, you can't can uh, do pretty well against you. It's a matter of how much you can do. Now, I don't know how I feel about Dunk Hunt, just because um, I feel like this benefits Cheek more than Donkey Kong, apart from the fact that DK can live longer as well. Yeah. It's a tough call, though. We'll see what happens. Good use of a uh, down tilt and then conditioning into that grab. Up B. Uh, if you actually GI the opposite way of PK going, you have a good chance to get down. Yep. And this is pretty much. This is. Yo has a percent lead, but in a way, this is PK's favorite. I don't see why Yo would be. Also, oh. he's armor, so. the armor oh. You can beat out a landing if he throws a needle. That's now, uh, yo, try to condition Pope with the mix up of, uh, I'm not gonna bait you the air dodge this time, I'm just gonna straight out go for it. Pope, mix it up with his own, and then try up there for it, and yo, do a nice up smash, and we're right back to literally using I think it's gonna take that advantage right away, but we'll get something started. It's not gonna look all that easy. That was a really good touch, right? I think pacing is a Pretty much the DK says, like, they know what, what they're going to do, but they never try to really get up attack just to cancel DK down the enemy. One mess up my yo. My yo, and that's what he did. Why would he steal with him? He just doesn't have to be careful. Oh, Very nice. Man. Turn around back here. Good. Very, yeah, very good capitalization by Pope, man. We're at game five here. And these guys are definitely rivalries. It doesn't matter which game you put them in, they will they are out for blood against each other. Push to DK, uh, stays with DK, I can respect it. Ooh. Which has to go for the cargo up the uh, border, which should work. Though. That might be a good factor. Yeah, good point. Try to get that DK punch in, but he was with the interrupter. Ooh, clutch air dodge by Pope. Now that's the problem with Shiggs, that he's not able to get this kill. Oh, 
yeah. But it was worth it for Poke to get that back and take the stage control. Oh, now that's dangerous. Yep, tried to. Oh, grabs the ledge twice. Oh, did not get punished. Yo, he's gonna take stage control. Oh, gets two ants and he's gonna get back on because of it. Half bouncing fish, and this is pretty much right back to you. A bear almost gonna take it. That's another thing with Pope that he refuses to die. Literally. Especially with someone like DK. Pope just. Pope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have DK. He's gonna kill with a lot more. Like that jump punches. Yeah, I'm it. No, definitely trying real hard to condition both of them. Pope is not scared. Cool to footstool, but a good trade for Pope, definitely. He looks at his face, but he's got to even suck. Yeah. That was definitely doable. Big damage. Does not have a jump, makes it bad. Alright. Yeah, there we go. But there's retaliation by Bill there with the bubble core there. The punch, but really good save. Both are somehow able to get a nice button. They're really close to that. Old up smash? Still living though, DK is heavy. As we said before, Pope refuses to die. DK oh not Pope. Accidentally rolls. Oh wow, and that takes it. Very good really? stuff to Yo. Oh, winner is. Yeah. I'm not sure if uh, it was the bad DI because um, Pope wasn't expecting the border or because like he was trying to wait back. Then excellent. But either way, good conversion by Yo. He moves on to losers semis.